welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing well. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Corinne and today I will be filming something um, new on my channel and it's basically how I recreate my saved Instagram outfits. So if you watched my last video, which was 10 tips on um, how to update your fall wardrobe on a budget, um, one of my tips was to save Instagram outfits or like outfit inspiration with pieces that are similar to the ones in your closet. So when you're looking for outfit ideas or inspiration, you could just scroll through it. And since you already have the items in your wardrobe, they're super easy to recreate. So I thought it would be a cool idea to um, just show you my process and how I do this. So I'll be showing you five saved Instagram outfits for fall. So let's just get started. I go into my safe pictures. I have an album here called Fall Outfits. So to make this even more interesting, I'm just going to pick the outfits randomly um, just because sometimes I save like outfits that are a little bit outside of my comfort zone. So it'd be cool to just kind of challenge myself for this. So um, I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get started. All right, so this is the first picture that popped up which is ironic because this is definitely something a little bit out of my comfort zone um, that I wouldn't necessarily think of wearing because I don't really know where I would wear this to but um, okay so let's try this out so to me the first thing that pops up when I look at this picture is the bright yellow sock boots so I feel like that's a staple and I don't have yellow sock boots but I do have a pair of red sock boots from Public Desire so I'm just gonna style my outfit based around those and for the blazer, I don't have one that is um, similar to this one. And since I went for the red sock boot, I do have a blazer with red detailing on it. Um, so I'm going to also add this to the outfit. And then for the turtleneck, I chose this black long sleeve turtleneck with um, this little red Ralph Lauren um, logo because I feel like even though the outfit is supposed to work together as a whole if ever I were to take off the blazer the little red logo matches the boots which is like a nice little detail and then for the belt I do have a belt that looks like hers but black which would be perfect for this outfit but um, on the jacket there's like gold details on the buttons and there's also gold zippers on the boots so I kind of prefer going for a belt with a gold buckle just so it doesn't clash as much so instead I chose this belt that I also thrifted and then um, to finish off the look I went for like my darkest skirt which is this skirt that I recently got from Nasty Gal and then I also wanted to add some nylons uh, to the outfit just because in the fall here it's really cold and I don't think I could just go outside with my bare legs like that so Yep, that's the outfit and I honestly felt as though, I don't know, something was throwing me off with the belt over the blazer, maybe because of the big pockets or something. So I chose to just wear the blazer open um, with the belt on the skirt and this outfit seems just a lot more me and I, although the point was to kind of recreate the outfits that I found on Instagram, I think the purpose is more to, you know, use it as inspiration to style one of your outfits with your pieces and uh, to make it more something your style. Okay, so moving on to look number two. So... Okay, so I for sure saved this outfit because of the Vans, because I have a very similar pair of Vans. I looked into my closet and I actually uh, found a button-up that looks a lot like the one that she's wearing in this picture. Like, I swear I didn't even plan this, I just found it in my closet. I actually don't think I ever wore it, so this just goes to show how good it is to do stuff like this. You actually use pieces that you probably don't know how to wear or just forgot about. Uh, yeah, so the vans that I chose, I had some that were actually exactly like hers without the platform, but I chose these um, corduroy ones because, um, one, I've had a hard time trying to wear them, and two, um, I'm just obsessed with corduroy this fall, so those are perfect. And I don't have a pair of white jeans, so instead I went with this pair of, um, I went with my lightest pair of jeans in my closet that also I had just like cut off, so they also have like the distressed detail at the bottom. Um, and this pair is from Stradivarius, but it's actually huge on me. Like they were just $5, so I bought them, but they're like three sizes too big. So I have to wear them with a belt. So I chose to wear it with the same belt as the first outfit, um, just because, you know, the shoes are black, so I thought like a black belt would be good. And then she's wearing sunglasses, and I'm, I think they're like cat eye, but instead I 
chose to um, wear my pink Ray-Bans for this. Um, one to bring out the pink in the shirt and have like a nice pop of color. And two, um, because of the gold detail on the belt, I also wanted it somewhere else on the outfit. So like these are like the perfect um, sunglasses, I think, to just finish off the look and pull everything together. I know that my way of thinking sometimes when I have to make my outfits is like super precise, but I don't know. I feel like every little detail matters and yeah. <laughs> so moving on to my third outfit. Okay, so this one isn't like her whole outfit and I think I had saved it just because of the way she styled the button up. Um, I liked how she wore a turtleneck and like her button up open and tucked into her pants. So button ups are like really versatile. I always say you could wear them a bunch of different ways and this is a way that I hadn't really seen before so I guess I'll just try this myself. Okay, so for outfit number three, I chose to... I chose my white button up that I wear pretty often. I'm pretty sure I've showed it in multiple videos and it used to be my grandmother's so it's one of my favorite pieces in my closet. And then I chose this thrifted gray turtleneck just because I thought that it would go better with my brown Gucci belt since I don't have a black one. And then my favorite pair of mom jeans from Zara. And to finish off the look, I chose my beige brown sock boots just to, you know, match the belt and pull all the colors kind of together. Um, the white, gray, brown in the boot. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, and these boots um, are the Brown Design Lab and I got them at the Bay. Is this one by Nielsen, one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, although I'm not gonna lie, I actually was inspired to purchase the items in my closet that resemble this because of this picture. So this kind of makes it easier. So yeah, I have a um, white lacy bodysuit and a red blazer from Nasty Gal. Um, then just some high-waisted pants. Um, I'm gonna pair this with my uh, Tommy Hilfiger pants that I thrifted just because, you know, I like, there's like a red logo on the pocket. So it's kind of harder to, to wear them and I don't wear them as often. So I think this would be the perfect way to mix like kind of sporty and more feminine. And then for the shoe, um, doesn't show her shoes, but I'll just wear them with like a simple white sneaker um, just to finish off the look. I was like in love with this picture when I saw it, which is why I saved it. I really love the whole like vibe of it. And I do have similar pieces, but they're like really not in the same colors. So I think I'm gonna keep the same gray um, turtleneck that I already showed you guys that I thrifted. And then for the little jacket, I actually just recently thrifted a really similar one, um, but it's a like, darker brown and then for the pants um, since it's like already gray and brown I think I'm just gonna go for my black pants from Stradivari. I do have like a very similar pair of black booties like sock boots to finish off the look Those are my five outfits um, inspired by my saved Instagram photos, all with pieces in the, my closet that I already had. I didn't have to go and buy anything for this video. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you guys like this style of video. Let me know if you want to see more of these and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.